Ladies and gentlemen, it is March 19th, 2016 on this Saturday afternoon. I am here putting out this emergency alert. This is an emergency alert. A scientific program of balkanization, of divide and conquer, of civil war in America is being launched. Now, I've been warning of this for years because there's a lot of published, declassified CIA and big university foundation reports admitting it. But before they can bring America into this corporate world government, this fascist world government, they have to collapse the United States and Europe. That's being done with the Arab Spring in Europe, bringing it in. They've already collapsed the Middle East with the Arab Spring, funded by Google and Soros and others. They're bringing a smaller Arab Spring here, but Al Gore is calling it a democratic spring that he called for three years ago when he said, we need a democratic spring here, but people in the streets. This is being launched to destabilize the country. Black Lives Matter and over 50 other groups run by Soros, run by the big foundations, are openly attacking barricades, trying to shut down Trump's speeches, attacking the Secret Service. I'm going to show you the articles, blocking roads, harassing people, knockout game reports. That's whites being attacked for their race. In some cases, being killed is exploding. Black on white crime is exploding. I'm going to show you some of the statistics. It is amazing to see not just MSNBC or CNN, but Megyn Kelly and almost all of Fox, including Cavuto, I've been monitoring it, saying Trump is to blame for all this. So they're going to demonize free speech. When people attack you, they're going to take your speech. Same thing in Europe. When radical Muslims shoot up and kill people, they banned German and French speech and even admit it's a permanent state of emergency in France or martial law. So this is the plan. It's definitely intensifying. We are getting reports in Austin. I am physically witnessing it. I have members of my crew it's happened to where they're told, get out of baseball fields, get out of parks in broad daylight by gangs of black youth. And we're going to start sending reporters out to document this, but you, you see it in the news. It is so, and they're singing Beyonce songs about it while they do it and yelling black power. That is the Super Bowl. It doesn't get more establishment. Trying to create racial division and trying to sell pure clan like behavior by some black groups and Hispanic groups as normal and okay because it's against evil white people. And here's why I'm doing this report. This is a form of terrorism to terrorize free speech, to chill this country, and to also, again, put whites into a white-only group that can then be controlled as well. This is a total management system, and it's so sad to see it happening. Let's go look at what's unfolding today. The, 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 the globalist-funded leftist groups all said they would launch this March 19th, and all over the country, all hell is breaking loose. This is what the Nazis did for five years to come to power, beating people up, intimidating, shutting down rallies, shutting down speech. Nobody did this to Obama when he was running for president. No, I mean, imagine if groups of white people were doing this. And by the way, most of these people are white that are going around intimidating free speech. They're the white saviors there. You know, we're here to stop evil white people and just screaming and yelling and attacking. It is, it is so sick. I've been monitoring these videos. Definition of terrorism. The use of violence or an intimidation in the pursuit of political aims. Now, that is the basic definition. So they're threatening, do what we want, submit to us, or we're going to shut down your free speech. And then they have the mainstream media acting like Trump did this and the Economist magazine coming out saying he's the number one threat in the world. The big evil corrupt establishment is so scared of Trump because he says he won't let foreign lobbyists run the country anymore. That's really what they're scared of. So you've seen the definition of terrorism. Alan West put this report out. Black Lives Matter issues major threat to white people over presidential election. If Trump wins the election, uh, Black Lives Matter has more violence planned. Well, it's, it's already happening. Violent anarchists join protest at Trump Towers. Now, I've been to many of these events and been threatened by the anarchists. They're communists, but they're communist bosses who are out handing out communist magazines, and we, and we have it on tape. Always tell them, you're not communist. That doesn't exist. You are anti-racist, anti-fascist anarchists. And then they're there to stir things up and control the crowds and are usually Soros operatives that's come out who've been paid to go in to do this. And you watch the chants of, 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 of the young people they're saying, revolution's coming. We got the guns at Trump Tower. The video's on Infowars.com. We're coming. We're going to kill you. The overthrow's about to happen. Get ready. And they're allowed to say that and do that. That's not free speech. That's a call to violent action. 
But again, they want they know a revolution against tyranny is coming, so they want to detonate it and make it about local government and cops, who certainly aren't perfect, but that will further destabilize things, which is always the aims of terrorists to destabilize the government they're trying to overthrow. This is a globalist corporate takeover. Follow the money. That's who funds it. And for leftists out there that don't understand this, go do your research. Soros will take any sociology issue like the, the Ukraine, which is Orthodox and Catholics that have hated each other for a thousand years, and use that to overthrow the government and divide the country. In the Middle East, it's Sunni versus Shiite. The West funded that. Did they put good governments in? No, they put the most radical in who oppress women because, as Carol Quigley wrote at Georgetown, they want totalitarianism. That's what the elites want worldwide. It's why our government puts dictators in. And don't you think the middle class and scared white people now will suddenly give up liberties and freedom for the police state to keep them safe? See the dialectic, how they're engineering this? Let's continue. So so, so these, these anarchist groups, folks, are communist. I mean, they have red flags. They have uh, communist tattoos. But everything with them is deception. Video, protesters try to storm Trump Utah rally, tear up Secret Service checkpoints as Donald Trump Protesters tore down Secret Service security checkpoints and attacked police. And you can go watch the videos of this. And then Fox News, I was watching it right before we went on, is saying it's Donald Trump's fault. His speech, his mild speech on most issues, it's all his fault. And you've got these people just on, oh, they're such social justice warriors. Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're standing up. And again, because the mainstream media is telling him he is Hitler and he deserves it. Again, people taking over highways, saying racist things to people, coming up, <coughs> blocking the cars. Again, I personally have been downtown and, and had statements at my car now at red lights repeatedly. And, you know, I've got children. I've got a job. I, I'm not going to pull over and get out and start videotaping and get a you know lead pipe upside my head. But I have experienced this. I mean, this is... This is getting this is getting crazy. And just because you're white, now suddenly, I see all these reports where Eastern Europeans have moved into a, a lot of lower economic areas in in St. Louis and other areas. And every few weeks, one gets killed, and then and, and they'll beat him in the head with a sledgehammer, you know, with a knife, whatever. And they'll say, "Well, he was white." Eastern Europeans have nothing to do with slavery. It's so cool in the black community to like be into Arabs and Muslim stuff. The Muslims ran the biggest slave trade ever. Do we blame a, an Arab today for it? No, and you shouldn't. It's just crazy. But somebody from Croatia, you kill them because they're white? I mean, it's just crazy. Done nothing to you. Radical leftists unleash anti-Trump riots starting on March 19th. And now it's happened. Michael Snyder has an excellent article on Infowars.com going over the whole situation. Black crime facts that the white liberal media don't dare talk about. And the, and, and the truth is, there is literally, in most areas, about 10 times more black on white crime. Uh, the national average is nine to eight times. And that isn't saying that the majority of black people are evil and want to attack white people, but it's sold in these inner city communities by the new Black Panther Party and others. Don't loot in our community. Go go loot a cracker. Go, go, go rob a cracker. And... It's happening where we supposedly deserve to be hit in the head and robbed or all of this garbage. I mean, this is what the controllers have done to get us at each other's throats. Now, are there police that do bad things? Do they unfairly target black people sometimes? Absolutely. But this just will make all of this worse. Uh, this is just completely out of control. And out of the Civil War, they want to have the Strong Cities Initiative run by the U.N., come in and, quote, run all local police departments, not even the feds, and it's the DOJ inviting them in. I mean, you cannot make this up. Uh, relatives of killed 17-year-old uh, home invader. How else is he going to get his money? And again, if you go through these crime statistics, it is staggering, absolutely staggering uh, to read all this and to see all this, despite making up 13% of the populations, blacks commit around half the homicides in the United States. DOJ statistics show that between 80 and 2008, blacks committed 52% of homicides compared to 45% of the homicides. And it goes on and on and on. More up-to-date FBI statistics tell a similar story. In 2013, black criminals carried out 30%, 38% of murders compared to 31.1% for whites, again, despite the fact that they are five times more white people in the U.S., 
And then it just goes on and on into the fact that 90% of blacks are killed by other blacks. On and on and on and on. Whites are nearly 100 times more likely to be victims than to be attackers. And it just goes on. This is from the Justice Department's own admissions. And again, what's so sad is murder is still pretty darn rare in this country. And it is a very small percentage of black people that are violent. Just like it's a very small percentage of white people or any other quote group. It's mainly males, just like in homicide with you know any other racial group, it's mainly males. Just like it's known that women file false reports ten times more than men. You know, it's just the sexes do different stuff. And you know, men act one way, women act another. Women do most of the poisoning. And when they do kill, they do it sneaky. This is criminology, folks. And these are well-known facts, okay? These are absolutely well-known facts. And it's so sad. And, and so many of the Black Lives Matter people are so ignorant and so brainwashed by the colleges they've gone through with big money paying for them to be, you know, put on this uh, road to perdition that they think, oh, you're scared. It's coming. You're going to get it. You know, we're coming. We're going to kill you. Oh, look, he doesn't want to have a race war. He's going to get his butt kicked. Do the math. 6% of the population in this country are black males. Maybe 10% of them are racist and evil. I mean, you're talking about a tiny group of people. And you're going to go attack everyone else and all the armed crackers and the police and everyone and kill us. No, I'm trying to stop a civil war for everybody because I know the globalists are running it. I literally have fought for 20 plus years to stop the fact that 50 plus percent of blacks are aborted. I care genuinely about black people and everybody else for that matter. I have empathy. But once you have a group turned into an armed horde who hates me and says that I'm inherently evil, they're like zombies. I don't care if they have green skin, white skin, blue skin, or black skin. You're coming at me, I'll defend myself. But I don't take any pleasure in the fact that you're so ignorant, you're so stupid, just like some toothless moron clan member. All you jackass racist uh, minorities need to go look up the fact that I am attacked more by the white supremacists than anybody. More than Benjamin Netanyahu. The lies about me are incredible because they know I understand the paradigm and that most of the white supremacists come out are funded by the Southern Poverty Law Center or the, or the federal government like Hal Turner was. And I understand it's part of a dialectic playing us off. So I get to have all the racist, dumbass black people hate me, all the racist, dumbass Hispanics hate me, all the racist, dumbass white people hate me because I see the whole show and I'm not getting played like a fool. So that's what it comes down to. And the entitlement of the, of the racist minorities is sick. I mean, I see the knockout game stuff on world hip hop you know, sites and all that. Just the old white people, the, I mean, you name it, uh, people in wheelchairs being beaten, being killed, Asians being targeted. You know, it's sick. It's it's just, and then you see these thugs on TV bragging about what they did because they're so sick and so twisted and think it's so cool because they're taken from a very, very young age and they are, they are put into prison once they commit petty crimes and then they come out with basically degrees uh, in criminality. It's the only future they have. And again, it's the larger globalist plan to dumb us down, to play us off against each other and to manage us, just like people get managed in, in prisons, in their racial groups. And, and then the warden is the new world order controlling us all. Are we smart enough to transcend this or are we too dumb to transcend it? That's what this comes down to. So here's the bottom line. This is terrorism. It's being launched by the biggest banks in the world that have captured this country and that have learned through sociology and anthropology how to break down groups against each other and use any division. They'll play off a Muslim against Christian group in Africa or animist against, uh, you know, Christian. Uh, they'll play off one group against another wherever they are. This is tribalism that helped us survive our development in ancient times, but is now destroying us and is manipulating us. And this is how they're controlling us. So we need to have a tribalism of freedom and liberty and free market and innovation and free association. Not one of what group we're in and how big our gang is and going out and hating the other group. This is the essence of failure. This is the essence of being pathetic. Foreign globalists openly from the Financial Times to the Economist to, to the Pope to the Communist Chinese, they're all saying he's Hitler, he's the worst thing on earth, uh, you, know, you cannot have him, the former Mexican president, because they already have captured the country. They already run it. They already have control of us. And they're scared because he's always been an outsider. 
and that he says that he's going to get in the way of their trough and shut down the destruction of the country. And they don't know if he's good or bad. They just know he wants to kick them out. And so they're fighting for their lives to the point the Republican Party is mainlining on every channel where the Democrats going, you're right. We're going to take the popular vote at the convention from Trump and give it to Paul Ryan, who has zero votes. And, we're, and we've taken the delegates from Bernie Sanders when he was winning, so might as well just vote for him. They're stealing the election for the first time at the primary level in front of us and saying Trump doesn't deserve to have rallies and he's disqualified from being president because Obama said... They are openly trying to steal everyone's free speech and set an unbelievable precedent. And you've got to wake up and say no to this. It's so insane. i got to say one thing, though. I've had big problems with Republicans and right-wingers when they get all wound up doing stupid stuff and supporting Bush and things he did. But most conservatives I talk to now are ashamed of Iraq war, and they understood how bad Bush was. But man, I got to tell you, I've been down to UT and other universities. We've done man on the streets from California to Texas. And when you go to, quote, liberal areas, they can hardly talk. I don't care what color they are. They look unhealthy. There's no fire in their eyes. And they just go, racist, ban speech. Ugh. And I see countless textbooks and videos and saying, ban free speech. Get rid of all the white people. Uh, you see Yale, where two professors that are liberal that ran the school were fired. A subdivision of the school because... They put an email out saying, now listen, don't try to shut down people's Halloween parties. The people are allowed to have costume parties. You know, you may not like it, but it's part of being liberal. And they go, how dare you? I'm scared. Ah! And they fired them. And, and the establishment went, yes, we're going we're gonna to ban all this. And they're not doing it because they want to, quote, fix the racism or whatever. They want a cult of weirdos that are against free speech to pass anti-free speech hate laws like they've already done in Europe. They're following an exact plan. They're following an exact program. So understand, this is not my opinion. This is a fact. And I want to send this video to the leftist and all the rest of you people. I mean, really look at your videos. Look at the dumb people that are out there cussing and yelling at families and little kids going into Trump Towers. And then they're like saying, we're going to kill you. The communist revolution is coming, we're waving red flags. And then you look at these college students. They look helpless and completely stupid. And all of them, you can tell, have never had a job. I mean, Bernie Sanders didn't have a paying job until he was 40. God help us. The prosperity of this country has turned people into spoiled brats. And a bunch of evil opportunists are coming in with hardcore social engineering and just completely taking over. We're going to have our reporters out at these Trump events in the next few months, next few weeks, at the RNC, DNC. I'm going to go to some of this. But you need to be out there documenting this as well. And if you are a human being, no matter what color you are, you need to go out and show this anti-free speech garbage for what it is. Absolutely evil and absolutely out of control. And it'll also probably get Donald Trump elected. I just want to tell you guys that as well, uh, that uh, it's going to backfire. But it's also dangerous because it sets a precedent uh, for restricting free speech. So you just need to understand something. You are being chumped, just like a lottery ticket, or just like Obama saying Obamacare was free. And I said it wasn't free, and then they said on MSNBC I was deeply racist and didn't show a damn thing I said. It's just like the stick they hold up and go, we're going to ridicule you if you don't submit. I want to be ridiculed by you lying trash mainstream media. You're on your last legs. We have 20 plus million viewers and listeners a week and growing. That's bigger than any show on cable. You people are legends in your own mind. And the only reason Donald Trump's so popular is because the media does attack him. I got some issues with Trump. I'll tell you that right now. But the fact that they hate his guts and are pulling their hair out lets me know how good he is. And I shot a big report on this yesterday. I've now talked to seven different prominent people. Some of them over a year ago, and it all clicked. They say Trump knows way more than he's letting on. He's anti-New World Order before I was even on the air. Of course, he's friends with him. Of course, he says, no, Alex, he knows more than we do. He knows everything. He is chumping them. He, he knows how to manipulate them. He is coming in. He does not want to shut this country off. He, it came out. I, I heard about these meetings before it was in Politico. He met with 20 top Republicans in New York for lunch, and he said, I'm not killing this country. I'm not having Cloward and Piven. We're not going to shut the economy off and bankrupt it to make everybody dependent. I want wealth. I want prosperity. I'm not going to be part of this. And he went for a month to Scotland to basically meditate on it. He almost didn't do it. And his wife said, you got to do it. 
And you know what Trump basically said? He said, I think the public's too dumbed down to understand. I, they just, uh, can they handle the truth? He's going to bring out 9-11 truth. He's already done that. He's going to expose it all, folks. And, and if he is lying, who would set this up years ago telling prominent people that, you know, about all this stuff and, and, and that he knows the whole show? And then I was sitting there talking to Corsi, who I know he's an advisor to for years, and Corsi went ahead and started dumping the beans, going, look, Trump is chumping him. He knows more than you do or I do, Alex. He's got the whole thing down. He knows what they're doing, and he wants to be the guy to save America. Is that an egomaniac? Damn right. Do I completely trust him? No. Because if he can pull off this manipulation to have behind-the-scenes stuff for a year get to me, just to get me on board, then he's the devil. Okay, no, I think he's a guy that wants to save the country and hates seeing the globalists take this thing down. He's a fighter, and for somebody like him, that's the ultimate thing to try to be the turnaround specialist to save this country. But regardless, it's an epic time to be alive. They're trying to launch a massive race war. It's actually happening. It's a class war slash race war, leftist intimidation takeover. And I don't think the American people of any race, color, or creed are going to be intimidated. They're doing the same stuff in Europe. Infowars.com forward slash shows where you find the free video feeds. I'll be on the radio and TV tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. live, breaking all this down. All the latest news is at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. And it's not even hot in here, but I'm sweating because my body just gets heat, heated up when I talk about this because it's such a hardcore time to be alive. So much is happening. And the Nazi collaborator, George Soros, that runs all this, just he is a literal James Bond villain. The new James Bond villain it was based on him. Even the name of his company was used in it. What is MI6 telling you? Even they're scared of this guy. These people mean business. They overthrow countries all over the world, manipulating differences. All right, Infowars.com forward slash show. Please get this video out to everybody because this is an emergency situation. We've got to warn everybody. And if all of you will just pass this video on to everybody you know, it's unstoppable. We are the tip of the spear. You are the tip of the spear. We are the Infowar. Now get out there and take these globalist on and get out there and try to deprogram these zombies and don't be mean to them but be very stern with them that they're slack-jawed zombies they're little scared kids and and and, and just <laughs> yeah trump racist f you <laughs> i finally have power in my life they're nobodies they're dumb they're victims their parents set them in front of the tv in their crap filled diapers they're malnourished they were given low protein formula that's a big conspiracy. Their brains are like a third smaller than they should be. <laughs> White, black, you look at them, they're retarded. They literally are mentally retarded. Don't be mean to retarded children. Just realize they're dumb little victims. It's like making fun of somebody in the Special Olympics. But these are dangerous programmed um, mentally retarded people. Infowars.com.